Oh. Oh. Call from Mr. Mc. To accept, press one. To send a voicemail, press two. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Pleasant. Good evening. How is it going? It's going all right, sweetheart. How are you doing? I am doing wonderful. You know, I know this is a cold call, but I think you're gonna love to hear what is happening, why your name is on the list, and why we call you. Oh, okay. What's going on? Yeah, so my name is David, and I work with the Walmart financial team. And uh, your name has been shown in the system as an unclaimed recipient. So, have you ever shopped at the Walmart before? Oh, yes, sweetheart. I, I shop at Walmart almost every week I get down there. Oh my word, wonderful. Um, so, the American Shoppers Award, in association uh, with the Walmart on the following retailers such as the Walgreens, Kruger's, Rite Aid, Best Buy, and Target. You know, all these retailers, the American Shoppers Award got the Powerball uh, Lottery, which... It's a customer appreciation giveaway. So once you spend over $100, you would have been automatically selected in the batch of 1,000 senior citizen for that raffle. Oh my goodness. What happened did I, is... Did I win a prize? Uh, actually, I'm not sure, but what we see here is that your name has been showing up in the system. Oh my goodness. Uh, what, is, seen what does that mean? Something like Glendalyn, Glender I'm not getting this Yes, it's is it Glenderlin? I'm not pronouncing it right. I'm not sure. Oh that's all right, sir. It's it's Gladys. G L A D Y S Gladys. Gladys, there you go. That's the word. Gladys is showing here that uh, you have selected yourself in the American Shoppers Award for a whopping $100,000. Congratulations on board, Miss Gladys. Well, thank you so much, sweetheart. It's my lucky day. Oh, my goodness. Bless your heart. Oh, my word. I congratulate you once more. And um, I know it may be too good to believe, but you know my slogan? Seeing is believing. So until you see, that's when you're going to truly believe that you are a winner. Oh, my goodness. I just can't believe I can get my Chevy painted gold now. I've always wanted to paint my Chevy gold, but I just couldn't afford it. You couldn't afford it. What about your family? Would there be beneficiaries when you receive this funds? Oh, yeah. well, there's my son, but, um, yeah, he could be my beneficiary. Okay. So your son lives with you. Oh, no, sweetheart. He's got his own family now. He lives over on the other side of town. He works in the construction okay. industry. Okay, so um, what I would like to know is like uh, your your channel, like your channel. What what are you referring to? What channel, sir? Your channel, like like you know what I'm talking about. Don't play smart. Like you 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 just realize that like I get it. Like like my favorite TV channel. I love the Better Homes and Gardens. <laughs> You're pretty funny. You're pretty funny, and um, 
I think I'm pretty smart because, like, it's not working for me, bro. Like, I got it. Maybe you had me for a few moments, but then I, I was like, nah. She's going too smooth for this. Like, like, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> Are are you calling from the Gay Jamaican Network? The Gay Jamaican Network now, nah, bro. What the fuck, dog? Damn. You you like to suck yeah. the penis, sir? Figure this out. No, you couldn't figure this out. Man, tell her say they have them a man a few all years. Like this a man have this camera himself in years. Don't give it to me. It, right now, he never see my next client. This a man I would have him forever. Ah, uh, but ah, uh, bro. Spoken like a true baddie boy. You do suck the pee pee on the weekends, don't you, sweetheart? <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, 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 ah, uh, bro. A so you, you Is there got a size you prefer, or do you like like the really big ones, or do you like the little ones? I don't know. Can you take it all the way down your throat? No, fam. Listen, listen. Let's get real, like. Uh, all the gimmick, let's get out with all of that. No, so like, why do you do this? Like, I want to know, like, why you do it. Why do I do what? What are you talking about? Come on, man, like, just drop it, fam. Like, why do you do this? Like, call, like, speak to us, waste our times, like, and waste, time. and waste all your time also, because I don't know what you think you're getting out of this. I think the better question is, is why do you steal from people? Because you're desperate and you're broke, bro. What you're gonna do? Uh, does that justify stealing? That doesn't of justify course, when, stealing. When you're out of option and you're in a certain environment that doesn't set certain way for you to survive, w w w what are you gonna do? Like just die of hunger and shit? You're gonna do shit that you see that is possible to make shit right and make life better. But do you realize you're also stealing from people who are poor and hurting? Well, uh, I'm not thinking about that when I do it. I'm thinking about ah, the fact that you're I'm... you're not thinking. You're not thinking. That's the problem. That's you the just want problem. the easy money. You don't want to work for your money. No, you ever had a real I, job? I, I, I can tell you you're wrong because I do like a real nine to five corporate job before I started this, sir. So I know about working all my life. I've been working my ass off doing all these type of nine to five fast food uh, call centers to call centers, all these shit. And I can't even buy a fucking car up to now. So think about that for a second. Do you realize that's no different than most of the people you're stealing from in the United States? There are millions of people here who don't have a pot to piss in, but you somehow think it's okay to take their money so you can what? Go buy a fucking broken Toyota Corolla? <laughs> no, bro. We buy like Mark X and like Benz, like BMWs. We don't buy like those type, bro. Like, we try to live up, like, make life better, bro. Like, you know, when you're from the gutter, you would know it. I think you're from, like, you know, you got shit sorted out. So you wouldn't know this pain. You wouldn't know why we would have to do shit like this. So, so you're claiming that, oh, my God, I can't get a job. I can't get ahead in life. But you're spending money on BMWs and Benzes? Do you know how fucking retarded you sound? Oh, you have something of value, bro? Like, I know you have a cool car. I have a Ford Escape. Ford Escape. Yo, pull up that. Let me see. Pull that shit up. Let me see. Okay, what, what, year? What, what year is it? What year is 2014. it? 2014. 2014. Ford Ex Explorer. Escape, not Explorer. Use your, use your three brain cells. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants. Yeah. Oh, well. That's ugly, man. No, no. 
What? I chose that. Fuck up. So you chose to do that, bro. Cause you have all this time in the world to do this. So I guess you must have some way of getting in money and, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's called a job, a real job. I do this in my spare time. What is your real job? I don't have to tell you shit. No, but but why you why you angry at us for what we doing and shit like that? Because you're hurting people, and you're doing it because you want a Mercedes Benz. Not only a Mercedes Benz, I want to help my mom and get her an house and shit like that. Not only a Mercedes Benz, that is just the dream life. And if it's possible, I would get my my Mercedes Benz. Not saying I have one, but you know, every young a cool car and wanna got a nice house and all of that good shit. But when you're from a society that doesn't create infrastructure and shit like to 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 actually get the opportunity to like be a value to society to get some monetary gain and shit it's it's crazy and you don't get the education messed us up because it's recently people are understanding the internet like you know content creation and where we're from so it's a whole different story that i don't think me saying all this would even allow you to understand my side or i don't i don't think you even care because straight off the bat you just say oh he's just a fucking scammer crazy well, cold art. i i don't think you understand my side either i do no you don't i do because you're, you're willingly you. you're willingly hurting people and don't give a shit about it I do, you, and I can Does, it weigh, it, does it weigh on your conscience at all that someone that you might have stolen half of their life savings from went and took their life? Yes, I can tell you that. Me, you may think that you're talking to, like, one of these cameras that is, like, experienced and, like, doing it, and you know, out they're doing it. Like, one of those cameras wouldn't be talking to you like i am i am like i just started trying this shit out but like i have a i could say my iq is a little bit you know up there so i'm like open-minded to everything even back then before i started doing it i used to see it as like a very bad thing and like why you would do that and all of that shit but when i when I lost my job and then I ended up living in this area where actually every like younger middle aged doing it and shit, I was be I would be the one leaving like the leaving like the community, going to work. I look like the, the, the fucking like the, the, the they you would say pussy, like just going to work and doing like regular society shit and still not doing nothing when at home doing they be the one having like a car having a house and i'll be saying i'm doing the right thing i'm going to work and it's yo it's crazy dog like no see the thing is i don't i'm not in your shoes so i can't fully understand what it's like where you're from i admit that but I don't think you understand what it's like the people you're hurting. I have a friend from Nigeria, a good friend, and uh, we talk quite a bit. And if you think your conditions are bad, holy shit, you should see theirs. Um, so I just, oh, 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 let me ask you this. Why did you lose your last job? My last job, I, I abandoned it for a possible better paying job. And then the better paying job, the lady that I put my trust in, I started working for three weeks. And then the lady that I trust in, she betrayed me. And so my previous job that I abandoned was my job, job, job. That was at the call center doing like technical support and like IT shit and all of that. But I was there at the call center doing that, which is my job for years and then I got this hotel job 
because you know you know in Jamaica there's a lot of hotel and stuff like that and I always wanted to work in the hotel work with the guests because I love people I love different culture love all of that so I wanted to go in the hotel so when I got the opportunity <laughs> you love people to, you love people tell me another one <laughs> bro like yo dog no it's yo bro when I do this like right now it's like you know when you see something as like that way out the only way out like or the your situation not like i see this as a good thing oh yeah i should be doing this i should be picking up my phone trying to no bro i just where i'm from where the environment is you know you be a product of your environment when in certain cases so the thing is that i lost my job I'm I'm in this new city cuz I leave from my my city to for a better life and shit. And then when I came here I be working, I lose my job. I end up eating rock bottom. I couldn't I can't could pay my rent, can't do none of that shit, can't buy food, nothing cuz a job was what I depended on. I work every day, overtime, all of that. And then when I fucked up now, I see everybody doing it like even young me be there with a with the phone channel hustle and shit and i'm like damn i know i'm like intelligent enough like i know technology shit i know a lot of shit that could make me like someone that could be like dominant in that field so i'm like damn so i started checking out you know shit how to do it reading scripts researching watching cold calling videos or to, you know, get people to listen to you and all of that. I, I, I'll be training myself to be better, to survive. And I do it. I did it. And I got like $300 from someone. And that, that what I got, I was getting thrown out that same week by my landlord. And that $300 I got, and the person that sent it, they got two thousand dollars in their account and they sent three hundred and I was able to pay my rent because you know US dollar in Jamaica is the gap is amazing like it's a lot more like what is a little bit to you there it's a lot I guess you know that you understand all of that oh yeah I, I live below the poverty line in the United States you're not talking to some rich citizen I know what it's like to wonder where my next meal's coming from. And I have a uh, family I also have to provide for. But, but you don't see me out there fucking uh, calling people pretending to be the publisher's clearinghouse so I can get some, some money to, to feed uh, my family. There's better ways. Well, now, are you? Uh, nah, you're doing. Are you, you you can are you a Christian? Are you a religious man at all? Yes, I'm religious and I'm spiritual. You, you're you're not bullshitting me. You're 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 a religious man, huh? Yes, I'm a Christian. You know, Jamaica is Christianity, and we have oh, the very. most church, the most church per square mile in the entire world. You can Google that right now. So. When you die and you go to get judged by the Lord, what do you think he's going to uh, think of you? And um, me, I understand the Lord and I understand the creator and the supreme being of all. But I don't believe in that fictional fact that you will be physically judged and all of that. I think those are like mental manipulation that was implemented to condition your mind to think a certain type of way. So you're a selective Christian. You choose to believe what you want to. Well, you could put it that way according to what I explained, but as it relates to me now, I am a Christian that tries not to be um like confuse or be 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 uh what's the word 
I don't want to be fuck, like confused with the fiction and all what the the uh the system want to implement on the people's mind. I I think above that. I have a very curious and open mind, so I don't just stick to something that was placed there for me to see. Like oh, that says red, so oh that's red. Well, in that case, that's red, but. Like a lot of times, things are not how they seems or how they appear. So that's the system trying to brainwash and condition you as a sheep. And I'm not one of those people. It's the system trying to condition you, telling you thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. It's, well, a, it's uh, literally it, well, a commandment, bro. But what about you have to survive? What about it? You have to survive. That's like a biological mechanism in the in, in humans to survive. And whatever so, you do to survive, you're a walking you're, contradiction. You're 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 playing this you're playing this survival card, but not more than five minutes ago. You're saying every brother wants a Mercedes Benz in a nice house. What you said about a nice house? You you you're a walking contradiction. You're saying, "Hey, I'm just trying to survive. I'm trying to feed. I'm trying to take care of my mom, but I want a Benz and a nice house." Why do you need all that? Why do you why do you need that? All right, I I don't. Maybe if I said I need it, I said it wrong. But I don't need those things. But if if I'm surviving and I'm able to pay my rent, get food and out of the game right now, and then I see an opportunity, say like I get a rich client that is a business person or someone that has a lot of insurance, a lot of money, and I see where it's not going to fuck them up or fuck with them. And I, I'm going to get it and get a Benz or get a car and get a house for sure. At least you think not, that, at least you think it's not going to fuck with them or fuck them up. That's what you right, think. Tell me, tell me how this is going to let this make sense to me. So someone that is uh, 80 fucking four, they have a few fucking million in, in, in an account. Uh, uh, and tell me now a few other fucking asset of this house, this car over there, that, that. What what the fuck? When are they going to use that? What are they going to do with that? What? Tell me. They're going to provide a better life for their family when they pass on. They probably worked really hard for their money their whole life. And here comes some bumba clot who, uh, <laughs> who thinks he's really slick because he, he got some script from his friend and is pretending to be Dave Sayers. No, bro. I actually study psychology, fam. So, so did I. I got a I got a minor in it, my degree. I say I have a minor in psychology too. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's why I well actually I I really enjoy the conversation and um I know you see me as a negative person in every means which I don't think I am because because uh, you're delu I you're think, delusional. So just because you're trying to survive and you do a, I know you did some stealing in your life before. And if you sit here and tell me you never steal, that is the biggest lie you're ever telling yourself. You, you, you think you know me? I know everyone has to do, whether it's a small stealing or it's big, you did it. Yeah, you're delusional, dude. Oh, you, what you been smoking tonight? I actually run out of weed right now, bro. I, I was out here trying to put some work in. So, wow. So you're making money and spending it on drugs, huh? Hey, dude, and I'm, I'm actually not judging you for being weed. I smoke myself. Drugs, bro. No, 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 no. You see, drugs, when we're here in Jamaica, when you say the word drugs, you know what comes to mind? Like heroin 
cocaine, molly, ecstasy, uh, fentanyl, uh, Percocet, and all of that. That's what comes to mind when a Jamaican. Then, all right, so the way all that is cheap, if you buy some weed, it's like you're not doing, It's not, you wouldn't understand, but weed is pretty cheap here. So uh, buying a little weed to smoke every now and then wouldn't be like nothing, like pretty cheap if I should compare with the dollar to show you an example. But it's, yeah, but anything you say, I guess that's how you think of us, but... Weed is like a natural thing. I've never seen where someone here smoked weed and get high and acting weird or anything. People smoke weed and they're natural. Like, I would be smoking weed for the whole day and I'll be working even when I'm doing tech support. And I did, like, very important part of jobs with the I, in the IT aspect. So, and I smoke every day at work, every fucking day, right through. And and I did my job and everything was amazing. I got my certificates. I got everything. My performance, all of that. Commission, everything. Uh, yeah. It's just, it's just amazing that, that, that you don't see the hurt that you're causing. It's just incredible that you, you justify ruining, ruining some retirees uh golden years so you, you, wow that's just amazing it's selfish it is it's selfish it is a little so it's a, it's selfish i would admit that but look if someone have like a few million in the account and they're 85 or whatever have a few cars house whatever and you're saying they want to have that passed down to generation 85% of the time, a family or a person that has those type of value or have those type of money or status, normally people around them, I don't know, for some reason, they are in that same energy, like that same lifestyle in most cases. So I don't think it would hurt the people like that if you know they got some cash and you know you can get some of that. I don't think so. But it's when you go for the broke ones that they broke and they think they're getting some money and then you, you, you still get the money from them. That That's where it may be a little touchy right there. So how many Americans do you think are millionaires? Uh, a lot. And the ones that are not millionaire, they got life five times better than us here in Jamaica. That's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong. I got a, I, I just, I, I was curious to something. So I wanted to look something up. The national poverty rate in Jamaica declined in 2022 to 12.6%. All right. In United States in 2022, it was 12.4%. So it's the exact same percentage of people living in poverty here as it is there. Wow, no, this is interesting. This is fucking interesting. I, I, I will definitely have to search that information. You but see, you, you think you're taking from so many people who are well off, but, but the vast majority of Americans are not well off. We're living paycheck to paycheck. We're working like crazy, like, Two jobs and how many jobs and all of that crazy stuff. Exactly. Working two jobs, trying to feed a, a family of three, four. You know, they're, they're uh, one that, medical bill away from being completely bankrupt and homeless. Because, you know, the greatest country in the world, you know, everything. When, when, when uh, there's like, uh, once you, you have authority, you know, you, you come with responsibility and the greatest country in the world, you know, a lot of things going to come with that. Not everything glitter is gold because as you say, 
A lot of people think Americans are like the best, the richest, the best, but that's what the media preaches. That's what the media uh, projects across the world. And that's what they try to show people to show them that, you know, they are the greatest and they have the perfect life, the American dream and all of that. And they don't show homeless people, not saying that no, in the internet age, we're not able to see that and what's happening in Kensington and all of those places in, in uh, I don't remember what state that is, but I mean, America portrays an image of the best country, like this illusion of like the perfect country, the perfect place, the American dream and all of that good stuff. So when people try to say, oh, these people, that that's an American. They got money. That That's a mental conditioning. And, and, and you may say I sound ridiculous or whatever, but I know it's not only Jamaicans that would say this. And if you know, you would know that actually a lot of people around the world would, would just stereotypically say, oh, American. Oh, he's white, or oh, uh, whatever. He got money because of the mental conditioning. Yeah, the the. Uh, I I I agree. I understand that so many people who live in these third world countries and these impoverished countries think that America, that we we all shit in golden toilets. But we're lucky to even <laughs> have a toilet. Yo, but look, but look at this. You watch cable and shit like that. You're not in America, but say you're watching a cable move or whatever. When you look, you see these homes with the with the with the garage with the shutter and the car drives in and you know, the house upstairs and everything is just perfect. And when we look at oh, let's see how we live in over here. Nothing is fucking close to perfect. It's it's like a fucking. So tell me what you think when when you would see shit like that. You're gonna say, damn, these people. Why do you think everybody wanna go to America? Because well, that's there's the your first condition. fallacy. You're you're taking they what go you see on TV and you're generalizing it across ev all of America. No, because that study. No, I'm saying it, there's study that shows that the media corporation that is owned by individuals in America, they project a certain image to the world, which creates a mental conditioning, which shows that perfect life, that American dream, all of that, which is why a lot of third world countries are going to see them as, oh, American, oh, they, 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 they all got money. There's no homeless, there's no poverty, and I know that's not how it is. I'm just telling you, and explaining uh, why it is like that, and and that's and that's why there's so many uh, delusional people out there because they think that America is this paradise. The American dream is dead, dude. Ask many Americans. There is no such thing as the American dream anymore. I know, I know that, I know that. But I, I, I love American people, and I know you're going to say I'm not, no, I'm, I'm, I don't. No, <laughs> bro, like, my friends, they're American. Like, my friends that I talk with and everything, American people. I love the way you guys talk. I, you know, I love it. And, and then most of all, I love the USD. I'm not going to stray from that. Yeah, we love, loved that. <laughs> so, how much money have you made this month? Month scamming, like how how do you, what kind of numbers are you pulling in? Okay, so this month, well, uh, it's just like a thousand dollars, a thousand Canadian dollars. It's not even U.S., so this wasn't a U.S. client. So you see, it's not only you guys that. You know, so that's just a thousand and my rent and all these stuff got cleared up and 
I'm here grinding again to see if, you know, I can get some cash to get some food and get a peace of mind and know that, yeah, things is much better right now. And if I tell you this, I know you're not going to believe me, but my boy is right here and I know you know that I'm telling the truth that I just wanted to get enough money, clear my bills, and be able to go back to work in the call center. So I wouldn't have to be getting up doing all these calls and get my role job and, you know, possibly maybe do this on the side every now and then, but I would be working my 9 to 5. Wow. That's all. That's really all I got to say is wow. <laughs> oh, man. You know, you who feels it knows it. You know, there's this Jamaican song. Who feels it knows it. So that's what I got to say. Hmm. Yeah. We're from different worlds, bro. So, you know, I don't expect you to ever understand uh, this type shit. And and I know it's apparent, and maybe not apparent to you, that you don't understand America. No, I actually I do. If you you could test me, and I sh- could show you that I actually do, and I would actually know why you would make that statement, <laughs> but I actually do. The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, if it's not cold, what, go say the them, dog. Just go say the them. No, dog, it's not cold. The place is not cold. This is chilly. Chilly. I bring your food, Max. I just wrote the them so bad, dog. Just believe me, dog. Oh, we didn't do that. You see? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. So, what is your name? Call me Dave. Dave. Oh. Are you, Dave? Kind of bum book like Dave. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> one said Dave. Okay, so are you the one that changed your voice to Mary all the time? Um, not me. Bobby, I know it's you. Are you Bobby? Am I Bobby? Yeah. Nope, not Bobby. Well, let me ask you something. Do you know uh, Scammer Payback? Do you, do you know those guys' channel? Yeah, Pierogi. Pierogi, yeah. You, you know them and uh, on all of that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's my favorite channel. <laughs> <laughs> you watch Pierogi, huh? I watch that every time, all the time, bro. Like, I know that. When he tried to get like an oral line and shit, the moment he started doing it, I was the only person that could know that that was him doing his thing. <laughs> but no one was was aware. Like, but I was, because I know him and I watched him. I always watch him. And and then that's when I get access to his video was when I was trying to learn to become a scammer. That's when I was watching typing for searching for videos about like and then i would see those videos show up in the search feed you know and then I, I got introduced to his channel and i watch his colleagues i watch them work together i watch them do collabs and i watch it's so interesting like and then those those videos were a reason why i was able to get so quick to know that oh this was oh uh, I'm like damn this 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 client sounds too easy like this client is too which which was you I was like no nah, she's too easy she, she's not really skeptic because if a customer is skeptic that's natural so you're now to do your job and get deeper get her convinced or you know get that skepticism out of her now but she's not skeptic. You know, you're going to know that, oh, hmm, she's insane. But some new scammers, like really new scammers and shit, you would have them for like a long time. 
they don't know because they're just so happy to get a client that they just believe, you know. So is this just you doing this or is this like you and your buddies all kind of living in a house together and uh, everybody's scamming? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, so everybody living like your specific house, like I would say like in America, everyone have their own home. And if you want to do it, you choose to do it. Because like, so I do it by myself. Well, my friend, he live upstairs and he does it too. But I mean, most times I do it alone. Like I just sit. And I would just uh, sometimes go online and try to get some numbers. And then sometimes we would run old leads. So we would use the old leads and run those again. That's when we don't make money to buy new leads. But if we're able to buy new leads from America, you know that's jackpot. Jackpot. You're going to get some you, cash, kid. Where do you buy your leads from? So, like, um, places where you leave like contact information and an address, like anywhere, anywhere where you think someone would have like telephone number left there could be doctor's office, uh, whatever it may be. So you would have a third party person in that organization that would then get those uh, numbers and information from the computer system. And they would have to be someone higher up. So most cases, it's someone that have access to computer database and shit like that. They would now get those numbers in bulk from that company. On the side, they make an extra bucks. And it's expensive for those leads. So don't think it's cheap or it's just a drop in the bucket. It's like $3,000 for some, for some real good leads. Those leads are hot. That would be like three thousand US for those leads. Yeah, that's not cheap. I mean, even in America, that's a fair amount of money. Do you do you even recover yeah. that? Do you even recover that money from those leads? You no, know, most time you 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 make so much, like it's out of the range of the amount you paid for those leads. You make you make more than what you paid for the lead. More, like ten times the amount, or more, twenty times the amount in some cases. Once the leads are hot, believe no man. Uh, I I don't I don't necessarily buy that. If you were making that much money, uh, not me. I am not. I am not me personally or not. But like uh, people around that do it, you know, they they got to change their house and, you know, get out of the shocks and get it made of concrete now. And, you know, they got a better life and got a car and shit like. So I'm seeing where they be getting those type of money and shit. A lot of money from the game. Some people dedicate. So the most type of people who would be in the game which is why you, <laughs> you would call some people and they would be on the phone thinking that you are a client. It's because most people who do this, not most, but a lot of people who do this would be people who think that like they have no option and they are in an environment like in the hood or, you know, and then they see this is what, is happening this is the way of hustling and they see the bigger ones doing it they come up and they did they don't have like certain things to turn to like education wise to say oh I, I i got this qualification in school so i can do this job none of that so they see a way of making money and they see other people getting a car or you know being able to buy food on weekends and go to the market and live a natural life. And they say, oh, fuck, I'm going to do this. And these people that's not too educated now, they are the ones that get dedicated to it because they use this way now to become a person, become somebody. They start getting respect 
they start getting all these type of things that they wouldn't get as being a uneducated bum, you know. So th- th- people start to see that as the way out. So it's become a cultural thing and it's become so influential that it's in the music, in the popular music, it's everywhere like. How many, uh, how many, how many people would you say down there are doing this or running this hustle? All right. So picture this. Uh, do you know, like, uh, Detroit? Well, Detroit is like one of the scam capital of America. I don't know if you know about that, but Detroit. So, like, say a hood in Detroit now, smoking, whatever. So, it's just like that here. And then you see what's happening. So, it's like a popular thing, like in every hood. Just picture, like, every hood in America, you would be seeing someone doing, like, calling people trying to do the fraud so it's like a it's like a gangster type thug type also shit where it's a culture type shit so in every hood where life is tough and fucked up you're gonna see a small group of people doing it it's not the broader side of society doing it but it's like the gangster type who doesn't educate it and all of that and see it as a way out uh, I will see right far out from the ghetto. So it's just like that. Well, yeah, I mean, it happens everywhere. Um, crime follows poverty. Um, that's that's no big secret. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so hey, that's but what that it is. Make man. It so, right. It's still crime. You're a yeah, we know. We know, and I know, and we can't get caught. We know it's not morally right, and all of that stuff. Well, I don't know if other people would do, it, but I know personally. And um, what happened is that um, I know you're gonna see us as a criminal, and uh, and all of that, and see that who do this? You think they are just cold-hearted, crazy, bad? gangstar something like that <laughs> but it's not there's nerd that doing the fraud and just doing it like a nerd person that is a that uh, i don't know to explain it but you know it's not only gangster and people who you think is cold-hearted killers are bad people do this people do it like a, a nerd a good <laughs> do it like a way of making money and you don't have to be selling no drugs like the dope game or going out in the street robbing or what. You just be in a fucking room or somewhere making a phone call. You're not doing like certain type of crime to, to survive, which that is happening also. But when people do this way, it's much better. It's more, you know, no one get hurt. Like instead of you go to that shop or that corner store and just go shoot people and get the bag or whatever. So, I don't know. That, I, it I, is what it is. I, I, I beg to differ with you a little on that one. At least the drug dealer's providing a product. You know, you're not, <laughs> you're not doing anything. You're just taking, selfishly taking. Oh, no, yo, that was so fucking funny, bro. Like, well, I mean, it's true, but it, that was funny, the way. <laughs> like, say, I say, I just need to get product and I get something. We don't get nothing. We just... <laughs> no, like, that was so funny, but I mean, that's true. But, I mean, you got to look at it. Are you black or are you white? I'm white. You're white. And you know that majority of people that get scammed are white people, right? If you say so. No, I like statistics show. You can check it. In America, specifically. So. Let me Google. Oh, let's see. Uh, 
percentage of white versus black. And I'm not racist. I told you I love everyone and I love every culture. So it's not racist or anything like that. All right. Uh, you're actually wrong. 18% of Hispanics and 20% of African Americans are estimated to have been the victims of fraud, whereas non Hispanic whites was 12%. So you're completely wrong. Well, maybe it's based on our experience or my experience, but most pe people that I deal with with the scam white blend, um, in the minds of uh, people that doing it, here, it's like, it's a way of, like, you know, a repatriation. You know, you know what that is? Repatriation? Repatriation. I don't think that's a word, but okay. No, you don't understand that. That means when you were supposed to get paid back for all the slavery and stuff that happened. Reparation. That is... Thanks for the correction. There we go. So that is what I'm telling you. That is a means of what this is like. So that is that is it. That is what is the reason behind it. Wow. So, yes. So you guys are not going to willingly acknowledge that your people did all that cruel stuff and you're gonna say it's 2024 uh we're we're, we're, we're civilized we're uh yeah but now nah. our parents and our people fought for that so someone has to definitely feel you know the pressure for all those sweat and tears and blood wow <laughs> that's uh yes that's a, uh, don't pull a muscle stretching that far, brother. What? Don't pull a muscle stretching mm. that far? Never mind. Okay, yeah. Remember, I don't understand those American phrases. I'm Jamaican, so. Wow. Terms. Uh, yeah, so I guess that explains it clearly to you. I mean... I, I truly hope that someday you fully realize what you're doing and can turn your life around. Yeah, that's uh, when I get like I get like fifty thousand, bro. If I get fifty thousand and then my YouTube channel started to be get monetized, I'm good. I don't need to call anybody and waste my time on phones or on computers trying to take money from accounts or calling people, telling them crap. My life would be going to be much better, much more, you know, productive in terms of doing what I like and embracing life. And because I'm going to get like, uh, po po like passive income. So, when I get my passive income set up and all that stuff, I, I, I'm not going to be doing this. This this is not something I would see, oh, I'm going to be the greatest doing this. No. Nah. <laughs> Do you enough. have a YouTube channel right now? Well, uh, my YouTube channel got strike. So that is why I say when I get it back up and in monetization status, I'm good. But I started a channel that's a uplift and inspire i'm not sure if the algorithm are gonna you know pull it up but i do like a uh, motivational video and videos to inspire you to keep move on believe in yourself know that there's a purpose in uh deep philosophies and stuff like that because i'm like I'm like, uh, I, I get knowledge like, knowledge to me is like a drug, like uh, the way I love weed, that's how I love knowledge, which is why I'm talking to you right now. So you're a bullshitter, you don't practice what you preach. Meaning? You, you're a bullshitter, you don't practice what you preach, you, you, you try to motivate people to be better, uh, do better, but in reality you're not doing that yourself. 
I'm trying to do better, of course. Like, I'm trying to get my money up so I can go back and get my job and get my positive, positive income stream set up and my investment. Isn't that bettering myself for the better good for the future? Yeah. Not if you're stealing and hurting people in the process of doing it. That doesn't make you um, some Robin Hood or some, uh, some, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for here? You know, doing it, you're doing it on the back of somebody else's pain and loss. You're not doing it on your own hard work. Oh, but, uh, so do you know that, like, um, majority of, like, CEOs, they do that same thing, like, that you just explained, like, no, no, I, I'm not chocolate, I want to slap some of those, I'll buy with the dog. Yeah, did did you know that uh, most CEOs and uh, business owners, if they could tell you, they would tell show you, and if you would see between the lines, you would see that they did that same thing in a different manner. Elaborate on that. <laughs> okay, so uh, you know that in order to reach at the top, you in uh, you're trying to like. Say okay, I'm gonna do sh things this way and do it morally right and do the right thing. When you keep doing that, when you look, you you get nowhere. You're back where you started, but you realize as a business person that you need to manipulate people. Well, I know it doesn't sound like you, you're saying right now. No, nah, that doesn't happen. People just fairly work and get paid, but. Uh, the CEOs and who are in charge, they manipulate uh, people in a pattern going down to the employee from their managers to supervisor are manipulated in fine prints and in certain uh, ca contracts and certain agreements before working and also during the process of working in order for that CEO or manager to get their goal and achieve uh, their goal in that sense. So what happened is that manipulating someone or doing it in any way, even if they're aware or unaware of it, that's hurting them. And then, then, yeah, yeah, bro. So I think it's the same thing. I don't see any difference. And I know that because any real CEO or manager will tell you the raw truth that, yeah, you got to step on some people to be where you're going to be. You got to use people to do what needs to be done to get your goal. And people who can't use their minds, a company or a person are going to get that mind and use it for them. But, but again, they're providing a product or service in in their in, in what you say in their process of stepping on and, and manipulating and cheating to get to the top what are you providing mm -hmm. what are you providing right. in your manipulation I, I i am providing entertainment For i who? entertain them I, the, the victims i entertain you? the victims and then, you know, along with getting the cash. So, you know, I give them that benefit, then I get mine. Wow, dude. You need no. to lay off the ganja. If you truly believe that, that is the most no, no, no. fucked up thought. That is the most absolute idiotic thing I have ever heard in my life, dude. Okay, bro. Actually, I'm kidding. Um, I'm just fucking with you on that. But um, and uh, I thought you knew I was just messing around with that. That that's ridiculous. <laughs> I think you're backpedaling. <laughs> what was that? I think you're backpedaling. Oh no 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 nothing like that. Oh. Uh, 
But I mean, you seem like a good guy, but you know, American, they got US dollars, sir, and we only got American. We only have Jamaican dollars, and that Jamaican dollars can't do nothing. That is why U.S. dollar even is becoming a dominant currency being spent like day to day here. Because we are realizing that the Jamaican dollar is not going to work. But even in America, the American dollar buys you less and less than it used to. Every day the dollar loses value. Yeah, that's in America. But... That same money that's buying you less thing in America, that's it's powerful here in Jamaica. But I, I'm coming from the view of the victim. You're taking that money away from them, and they can buy less and less with that money, and now they even have less money. <clears throat> so you're making it even harder on them. But, I mean... If you're under the delusion that all Americans are millionaires anyway, you're going to justify it as, uh, oh, I'm just, I'm just trying not to survive. Millionaire. Not millionaire, though. I mean, there's a few millionaires there, which, you know, I think everybody knows millionaires and shit. And billionaires. And America is the only place that you can become a millionaire in a short space of time. With Silicon Valley and all of them shit and all of that. Hollywood, all of that. It can happen in another place in the world, but America is the main place that someone can do a startup and boom, millionaire, blow up. That app, that program, that website, whatever, or, what, or whatever it is. America is like an hub. It's like, you know, that place, that great, the America make America great again. That's what, that's the slogan. That's Trump slogan, the gee dog, you know. The dog laugh. That's the gee dog, Trump slogan. Yeah. Trump. Yeah, make sure you vote for him also. Well, I don't want to get political. No, I, I don't get, just know that. I said that and I said it. Just make sure you do that. Why? 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 This okay. This is really interesting. Why? Why vote for Trump? What? What? Why do you want me to vote for Trump? Because Trump want to make America great again. You don't think anybody else wants to make America great? According to my knowledge and what I have seen with the previous and current leaders. Ah, uh, well, some of the previous ones wanted to make it great, but a lot of them, they didn't want it to make it great. And the current leader clearly don't want to make it great. What Trump want to do is make it great according to the way how he deals and handles with stuff as a leader. I think he, according to his actions, not the way he speaks, because someone that speaks the, the truth and all of that good stuff, uh, the system never really mess with them that well. So, and you will, go, you will say he's a part of the system, right? But there's levels to the system. But Trump means America good, and Trump want to see America become like America, the America that is supposed to be. That man is a real American that want to make that happen. And there's people behind the media that use their influence and power and money to tarnish his image and paint a picture of him, which impacts the fact that a lot of people hate him and think that he's arrogant and he's the worst person and never see what he was doing and see the real benefit that he wanted to bring to the American people as a leader. Uh, I'm speechless. You're, uh, <laughs> um, you tell me, I don't know what it's like in Jamaica, but you think you know the political landscape in America. Um, 
That's kind of um, funny to me. But um, I don't think I know. I'm just saying based on what I've experienced. I, I don't. You know, so it's just what I've seen and what I've, you know, follow up and research and all of that. Not saying that's what it is. You know. So just bear with me on that. I'm just, I just do crazy all the research and all of them. I keep up with certain things and all of that stuff. So just bear with me. Uh, uh just curiosity. Do you consider yourself conservative or liberal? Mm. Conservative. Okay. Yeah. And what is what does being a conservative mean to you? All that mean let me put it this way. You know, I mean, like, patriotism type of stuff, you know. That is what I believe in. Patriotism, right? Yes. What do you think? Uh, there's many aspects that uh, comprise a political ideology. Patriotism. Mm, there's patriotism on each side of the uh, each side of the aisle. <laughs> well, and I would say maybe a little bit of both. I would put it that way. Then maybe I'm a little liberal. Or could you be a little bit of both, or just one? I mean, it's possible to be both. Yeah, there are people who uh, toe the middle line. Um, what do you feel about the government should take care of their people? Governments to take care of their people, uh, that is amazing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying that is amazing, right? I, I'm asking you. I, I think it's amazing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And over here, that doesn't happen. You know, our government is is a scammer. He's a white crook. Like, you know, white color crime? That's him. Mm -hmm. yeah, even his name is in the popular songs and shit like that. So, uh, the leader <laughs> is leading us somewhere that's not good. And that's not safe that's not a good look at all that's why we're having a brain drain right now i i guess you know what a brain drain is so you know and that is those are reasons for the brain drain right now right people are going to canada well, a lot of people going to canada and some going to usa Hmm. Um. Different, different topic. Do you have any fear of the Jamaican Lottery Task Force? Ah, uh, no. Do they just? Do they? Okay. For example, I know in Nigeria, um, when they arrest these people for scamming and stuff, many of them pay a bribe and walk away. Is that like is that like what it is in Jamaica? Can you just uh, buy your way out of uh, prosecution? <laughs> well, to be honest, in in some cases that do happen, but you have to definitely not to get caught because it's it's not it's not it's not a part of the game. To get caught is definitely not a part. But if you do get caught and you're caught by some, you know, crazy policemen or, you know, those police guys that, and in even in this city, which I would say, you know, could be capital for the, for the whole game and what we do, 
you know it's like the cops and everybody know like it's a cultural you know like in india everybody know about scamming in india or whatever and call centers and all of that it's it's similar something like that in this city so everybody know what's going on so if a police will stop like someone that's a suspected scammer or something he's driving these type of cars and you say yo stop him they know that they're able to get like a good tip today <laughs> for the day instead of taking that and giving the money to the white collar criminal which is the leader mr oldness so corruption is crazy over here bro yeah no i believe it i i, I believe it uh there's corruption in uh I mean, anywhere you find power and money, there will be corruption. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. That is good. That is good that you know that. So, yeah, man, you can pay your way out in a lot of situations. Mm -hmm. Some situation you may go to jail and then get a flight over to USA. You will get a free flight. That's united. And, but and trial fighting to get yes but we're fighting to get that law changed you know so that we can stop having our citizen being extradited to another land because in 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 uh in india i don't think they can go ahead and get them taken over to the usa i personally i don't i don't know um <clears throat> what the extradition laws and rules are with, between India and the United States, um, but but you guys are fighting that you don't uh, you don't want them being sent over here and being tried for their crimes. Yes, because America is a bully, and no, nobody can bully them. But they feel like they should go ahead and bully everybody they feel and anything they just feel not with them. Not saying this is right, but I mean different. Whatever it is, same like the gay the gay stuff that they want to put same-sex marriage over here and all those bullying type of stuff and they know we don't do that we don't want that and they just we have to do it and those are things that make people mad and and get angry at them and because those are just bullying and they just want to do their rules and laws and their customs and values should be spread but everybody else should just sit back and and absorb that and just know. Interesting. Mm. Three thousand US. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh. Someone just got three thousand dollars from somebody? No, he just saw that in an account. He didn't get it, like. Yeah, he just saw it. Like, he got the online access and look at it. Ah. Uh, so, is he going to try to get yeah, that money, though? Sell. No, he didn't sell none of it. Don't think that. <laughs> what do you guys, uh, did you go for gift cards? Yes. Uh, we do gift card and, and sell. Money pack. Money pack. We money love the pack money pack. But money pack, we don't want to use the money pack anymore. We just want to use like some unknown gift card that's not popular. Cause the money pack, ha oh boy, the money pack is too much problem. We get some ones that doesn't have any name. The names are not popular, so you know you guys can't really, you know. So is it getting harder to cash out the money pack cards? Actually, 
No, pretty easy. But it's just that the money pack card is the one that, you know, have the most cash on it when you get it. So there's more regulation on it and all of that shit. So if you, yeah, if you do that, you may get. So we don't really want to pressure too much on that one. So we use some ones that's not really detected, like the American Express Vanilla Gift Card and, uh, Amazon. Amazon is amazing because even where I live here, there's girls and everybody coming to you. Yo, I need an Amazon gift card because they want to purchase online and shit like that. So you can sell them to these people that you're with. But if you want cash, you have to give it to someone that they got an account created in America. Then they get the card mailed to them. So when they load the gift card, they can go to the ATM here and just pull cash. So you would have to pay them a percentage to load those cards, turn those cards into cash. And they take their percentage, you get your cash. There it is. Interesting. Interesting. I've often wondered uh, what you do with a lot of those cards. So like the Amazon ones and stuff, you just turn around and resell them. Uh yeah we resell them so when you make a, a client make payment with a gift card you get those card numbers and uh, once you get the card numbers you keep that client occupied so he doesn't go call or get the card locked so you keep them in the same mind frame and all of that until you get it load to an inst uh, an amazon account so if i have an amazon account and say i have some extra cash laying around or I have a business or I have a social media that pays me money and I have money like I have money in someone have some Amazon card like a little scammer get some card and he want cash to pay his rent and or to do live do what he's doing in life I would say okay I would take those cards that uh, you know a percentage for each hundred dollar card so I would load those cards to my Amazon and I would go take my cash that I have for the value of the cards, give him the cash. He's gone. I got the cards loaded to my Amazon account so I can uh, do my business. If I buy stuff and resell or whatever I do. So those are ways we cash them out. Huh. Interesting. What about the American Express cards? How do you do that? American Express, we use PayPal for that one. We load them to PayPal. When you get your American PayPal ad, uh, account, you get your card mail here, well, to the address in America. That's a client's address, and then they mail it to you. You got your card, load your American Express on your PayPal, and then you can get your cash. I guess you know PayPal works. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm very familiar with PayPal. Yeah. No, yeah, man, that's, that's with the American Express and also with the vanilla. And you can also use, um, you can also use different service such as like the green dot service to cash, cash out the cards and get your green dot card. The greatest thing is to have your card over here, like got it set up in America and then here. Oh boy, you're like, you're good. You're good to go. You don't have to pay your money out because every time you make someone clear the money for you, a percentage goes to them. And if you can get your money and get all of it to you, that's where you're winning. A lot of time, these guys that clear the money, they want half of the money or yeah. close to half of it. Yeah. Do you deal in any uh, mules with bank accounts and wire transfers and stuff like that? Yes, man. That is a that is a very big and important part of the game. Else, a lot of things wouldn't work. We wouldn't get a dollar over here, according to restrictions and fraud protocols that set up, um, you know, on apps, websites, whatever. So we, that is necessary. Yeah, and then you just let the mules keep a percentage of it, or how does that work? Yeah, they take a percentage each time, and once they do the right thing and keep taking the right amount of percentage. We work together for life. But if they fuck up, we get a different mule and 
get that mule to do what we want them to do, not take or do what they want to do. Is it pretty easy to get a new mule? Nope. <laughs> you have to build a relationship over time. And I, yeah, dog. I'm not going to blame it. Yeah, man, this can do it, man. Hey, fill out the space, man. Get the weed, get the weed, get the weed, boy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My boy is getting some weed. Now he's going to get weed because he's like looking at me and saying, boy, you on that phone? You're not getting off that phone, boy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. Get the weed. I'm talking, man. <laughs> Smoking some good shit down there, huh? We got some real authentic purple. This, this is called purple skunk. It's very strong, bro. Like, it allows you to relax your mind and think about stuff and connect with nature. Yeah, I feel you. And the hair. Uh, come on. And, yeah, yeah, but what was I talking about? I was talking about something pretty interesting, I guess. The mules. <laughs> we were talking about the mules. Yeah, 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 but, and most of what I'm telling you about the mules and stuff, it's because where I live here, I'm around, like, scammers and stuff, because, honestly, I'm like, because if, if I tell you how much I make from the scamming, you would see that I'm, like, not really one of the scammer, scammer-like. I don't know how to say it, but, like, put it this, like, I got fired, I got, um, I lost my job, like, uh, seven months ago. And since then, after I lost my job, I started doing it. So, make your take on that. While this for nine years i've had clients for five years nine years like one client yeah yeah so, it, it's it's i mean from my perspective it's really sad um when they milk somebody that long they've absolutely brainwashed them and uh are, are just completely taking advantage of the situation Hello? Your phone's cutting out. I can't hear anything. Hello? You there? Hello? Hello, hello. We lost connection. His, I bet his battery died. I really bet that's what happened. Well, that was interesting. That was really interesting. I don't even know uh, how to summarize. And that's why I just didn't try to steamroll through him from the beginning and just walk, try to walk all over him. Because in my opinion, and in my mind, he's still a crook. He's still a criminal, no matter how he tries to justify it. And I understand. Like I said, I, I have my Nigerian friend. Um, we still talk quite a bit. And I know how tough the situation and survival is over there. But it... Uh, it doesn't justify it. It still, it just doesn't justify it. Uh, 
Ah, so interesting. Yeah, I'll have to go through the VOD. Um, I might actually edit and just go through and bleep where he got a little wordy. Six pounds of shit in a two pound bag. Thank you, Stella. And I, I believe, I truly believe that everybody has the capacity to change. Um, He sounds like he tried making an honest living, but it wasn't enough for him. And then he got into the shitty job situation. And again, we don't know exactly how much of that was truth and how much of that was a lie. We can only go off of what we were told. Um... And that's what kind of perpetuates what he's doing. Um, but it's just sad. It, it's just sad that poverty has uh, drives so many people to do this. Yes, there is greed. There are greedy scammers out there. They have enough and they're doing it because they want more. But there are a lot of them doing it because of the poverty. And again, that does not make it right. That's just a fact. Oh my God, I got so many thank yous to roll through. Hold on. Hold on. Jesus. I kind of got wrapped up in the conversation. Uh, Chattitudes, three stream streak. Starlight Spectrum, thank you for the follow. George with the gift to Starlight. 10 bits from Starlight. George with 100. Doc with 1,000. Death with 200. Captain Cheezel, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Army. Betsy Boots with the booty biddies. Thank you for the 15 biddies. Scam Blocker, what's up, brother? 100 biddies. Mo with 300 biddies. Saraz with 1,000 biddies. Scammy Santa with the follow. Tattitudes, 100 biddies. Scammy Santa, 252 biddies. And any desk with 50 biddies. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate all the support. Um, wow, we really got more than we bargained for there. What a night. What a night. Couldn't get anybody to call or to answer. Not a soul. And then we kind of just stumbled into a treasure trove of information. Um, I missed a call, two calls while I was talking to him, then they messaged me. Whoa. Okay, he uh he texted me, his phone died. He wants me to call him tomorrow. Is that the same guy? Yeah. That's the same guy. He wants me to call him tomorrow. I'm going to stick with this with this lead. Who knows what this is going to turn into? Who knows what this will turn into? But I think, um, I think he trusts me. I really think he trusts me. Stream tomorrow? Possibly. Possibly. Um, I'm not going to get into all the details, but many of you know my financial situation, um, which is completely opposite of what most people think when I say a financial situation, I can only actually make so much money. Um, so I need to look at the numbers and see where I'm at. Um, and decide where we go from there. Um, no, I can't do a sub goal. I would like to do a follower goal because we're creeping up on 2000. Let's see where we're at. One thousand nine hundred and fifty seven. Ooh, forty three away. Forty three away. But remember that call started out 
where he was going to scam me. Um, shit, that's what I was going to ask him, and I forgot what happened. Um, what happened in the call that made him suspicious that I wasn't a victim? Shit, that's what I was going to ask him. I really could have used that bit of information. That's what I'm going to ask him tomorrow. I, I remember he said something about me being too willing, just going along with it, which is good. It's good information to know. Um, it helps me learn. Uh, I can, I can kind of refine. Maybe I need to push back a little more. Um, not skeptical enough. Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Microsoft D. Yeah. They enjoyed the deception. Yeah, I could use my second account. Um, oh, let me message him back. Okay. Call me as soon as possible, thanks. Okay, that was the other guy who called. That was the other call that came through. A <laughs> new pen, pal. How do I end up doing this with these fucking scammers? The guy in Nigeria, now maybe a guy in Jamaica. This guy, I still don't, I still don't, I still don't trust him. I still don't, uh, I still don't trust him. That's all I, that's really the only way I can say it. He, uh, he was too pompous, too arrogant. I think he just got comfortable in the, in the uh, conversation. Uh, and so he was willing to open up a little bit. And the real friends of the scammers we met along the way. I will tell you what, though. I could have done a regular bait night, you know. But that was more interesting to me. Yeah, he believes he's actually educating me. That was more interesting to me. Who <laughs> invites for the all expensive paid vacation in Jamaica? <laughs> Okay, where was I? He was taking an, an interesting angle, though. I've never heard any of them use the Walmart financial team. Um, I mean, it was going to be the basic type, same scam, just under a different guise. I want to see where I found this number at. It had to have been in the backside. It had to have 
had to have been somebody I called. Um, where the hell did this number come from? He cold called me. Where did he get my number? I have no record of this number. I have absolutely no record of this number. He cold called me. Wow. Huh. Um, Mo, he, he messaged something about, uh, Mary and Bobby. I don't know if that's, um, an alias being used by another baiter. It has to be. It has to be. Um, I couldn't tell you who it is. Okay. Whoops. Whoops, whoops. Oh my god, what is Crayon doing? I'm gonna raid... I'm gonna raid Captain Jenny. Um, I watch this girl a lot at night. She's the ventriloquist. Um, I don't know why, but I'm mesmerized. She's so incredibly talented. Oh, yeah, and her sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Do, do, do. Good wholesome raid tonight. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for all the support, for hanging out. Um, I really want to stream tomorrow and talk to this guy, um, but I got to crunch some numbers. Um, maybe do it on my alt channel. Um, we'll find out. If you're not in the Discord, that's where I always announce when I'm going live. There's the link. Um, thank you again, all the support, all the love. Um, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And uh, let me get the raid set up here. And okay, you guys stay awesome, stay well, stay safe, stay warm. Above all, stay you, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Peace.